The function graphed here cannot possibly be a solution to this type of differential equation. Here's why. This differential equation says that the derivative, the rate of change of x, is only a function of x. And that's not the case for this function. Here's a way to see that. So when x equals 5, here the function is increasing. That's fine, but here there's a contradiction. The function is decreasing. If the rate of change depends only on x, it can't have two different values at the same value x equals 5. This is an important point, so let me write this out. Again, the rate of change of x depends only on x. That's what this equation says. The rate of change of x is only a function of x. Another way to say that is the same x value, if I put the same x value in here, say 5, it has to give the same rate of change. But it clearly doesn't here. I put in 5 and I get a positive rate of change. I put in 5, I get a negative rate of change. Here I get another positive one and so on. So this um, wiggling function cannot possibly be a solution to this equation. And I can state that with certainty, even though I don't know what this f of x might be. And this is a general result. Differential equations of this form can never have oscillatory solutions. So although these are important in engineering and science, they're a little bit boring from a dynamical systems point of view. A particular x curve can only increase or only decrease or be at a fixed point. It can never turn around.